no, no. If the cops can't find a body, they can't charge me with anything. Hey, look, I gotta go. Hey, I'm Corey, and this week we're making salsas. Now, I know that everybody's very comfortable with their default salsa of chopped tomatoes, onions, cilantro, chili, and there's nothing wrong with that, pico de gallo. But today we're going to expand our salsa repertoire. Look at this, half this book is just salsa recipes. Today we're gonna make roasted tomato salsa, roasted tomatilla salsa, and an ancho salsa which is gonna be more of a sauce. For the first two, I'm popping the tomatoes and tomatillos, peeling the tomatillos first, coring both of them. So the recipe I got these from said to de-seed the serranos, and here's what that looks like. But here's why I'm not doing it now, actually, because I want it to be spicier. Into the oven, about 350, with onions, garlic, and serrano chilies. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get a pot going with my dried anchos, garlic, onion, vinegar, and orange juice, and I may as well juice some fresh orange juice. This is for the ancho salsa. Oops, I think I was supposed to put some water in there. That's better. Turn it down to simmer, and let it go for another five minutes. We had these salsas over brunch tacos. I don't know what else to call them, but I had over a bunch of Torontonians who recently served on jury selection. Not jury duty, jury selection is when you along with hundreds of people are called to the courts on a Monday morning and told to sit there for two or three days and they may pick about 50 people from those 300 people to serve on jury duty. That's another story. Either way, you can read about that in this week's Fed column. Let's go check on our salsa stuff, okay? So roasted is loose. It's really more toasted. They're just in there 15 minutes, but they get a little color, they get a little soft, and I think they lose a little bit of that raw bite. When the roasting vegetables have softened and got some color, a little bit of color on them, let them cool for a spell, being folksy, and then into the food processor. Okay, one at a time, and just pulse them. You don't want them to turn to liquid. You want the salsa to be a little chunky, not soupy. So first the tomato I'm gonna do, and then the uh, tomatillo, and I'm gonna season them to taste, and fold in cilantro at the end. Then, now that our ancho mix is done bubbling away, and it's cooled for a bit, I'm gonna put this into the blender with olive oil, because we want this one to be super smooth. And again, Season a bit with salt. This one's gonna be more sweet and tart than spicy, but with plenty of that smoky ancho flavor. Couple differences from the sauces I made at my taco brunch. The ancho sauce is much lighter this time. Could be the chilies, could be the orange juice, doesn't matter. Same great taste, same great price. And the tomato salsa, roasted tomato salsa, it's much thinner. I think I used Roma tomatoes last time. And you know what? I would do that again, because I want it to be just a bit thicker. After brunch, ate these on everything I ate all week. Today I'm going to put them on this hot dog that I found lying around because this is all I have to put them on. Mmm. That's all I have to put your mouth one time. <laughs> 